Hey everybody, Mr. Fritz here. I uh, want to teach you guys about how to find uh, ion charges on different elements. So uh, let's go back all the way to the sheet where we looked at the um, electron shell models for different atoms. And you can see one of the patterns you should notice is that um, all the valence electrons in group one, here the valence electrons are the ones in the outer shell, hydrogen has one, lithium has one in the outer shell, sodium has one, and potassium has one in the outer shell. Okay, and we said all all these atoms on here want to have a full valence shell. Okay, so these all only have one. They want to have eight, like the noble gases. So neon has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in its outer shell in the valence shell. Argon also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in the valence shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in krypton's outer shell. So these all have full valence shells. The only exception is helium, which just has two. And helium has a full valence shell with just that first shell. Okay, So all the other elements are going to do whatever they can do to get eight electrons in the outer shell. So let's just take lithium for example. If lithium wants a full valence shell, lithium is going to have to gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons in its outer shell. They have a full shell like neon. Or rather than gaining seven, lithium can just lose that outer electron to be like helium. Okay, it doesn't actually turn into helium because it's not we're not changing the number of protons lithium has. We're just changing the electrons, okay? So we can take one electron away from lithium to make it be like helium. Okay, and that way it's got a full valence shell and it's happy. So if lithium is going to do that, normally lithium has 3 protons. Let's see if that shows up. Oh, got to write it down a little bit more. Normally lithium has three protons, right? And protons, as you remember, have a positive charge, okay? Normally lithium also has three electrons, okay? And electrons have a negative charge, all right? So normally the charge on lithium is going to be zero, right? But if lithium is going to lose that outer electron to be like helium, that means lithium is no longer going to have three electrons. It's going to only have two. Oops. So if lithium only has two electrons, now we've got a positive one or positive three charge, negative two charge. So you do the difference of that, and that's going to give you positive one. Okay. So lithium is going to form a plus one ion because it lost an electron, and so now it has more protons than electrons, and that's why it's got a positive one charge. Okay. There's a way you can remember this. Um, it's called LepGen. So L-E-P. G-E-N, LepGen, and what that stands for is loss of electrons is positive, gain of electrons is negative. My N's a little messed up there. So loss of electrons is positive, gain of electrons is negative, and when you remember that, you can remember if lithium loses an electron, it's going to have a positive charge. If something gains an electron, it's going to have a negative charge. So if you look at something like nitrogen, for example, Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five electrons in its outer shell and its valence shell. So it wants to have a full shell of eight, just like neon. So nitrogen is going to gain one, two, three electrons, three more electrons in its outer shell to be like neon. So it's got eight rather than five. So the other thing nitrogen can do is lose one, two, three, four, five electrons to be like helium, but what's going to be easier? Gaining one, two, three electrons or losing one, two, three, four, five. And it should be gaining three, right? That's easier than to lose five. So nitrogen is going to gain three electrons. So nitrogen, normally nitrogen has, oops, let me get it over here. Normally nitrogen has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven protons, and again, those are positive. And normally nitrogen also has seven electrons, and those are negative, right? So normally nitrogen's got a zero charge. However, if nitrogen is going to gain one, two, whoops, one, two, three electrons to be like neon, that means it's going to have a total of seven plus three electrons, or ten 
electrons. Okay? And electrons have a negative charge, so 7 minus 10 is going to give you negative 3. Okay? So nitrogen, when it forms an ion, is going to gain 1, 2, 3 electrons and have a negative 3 charge. Same thing goes for anything in this uh, column right here, because nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, they all have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 valence electrons. So that means they're all going to gain three electrons to be like the nearest noble gas and have a full outer shell. Oxygen is going to gain one, two electrons to be like neon. So it's gaining electrons, which means it's getting more negative. So it's going to be negative two charge there. Okay. You can do the same thing without looking at the shell model with just the periodic table. Okay. So for example, if we have something like magnesium, okay, magnesium can gain one, two, three, four, five, six electrons to be like argon. It's not going to change into argon because we didn't change the protons, but it could gain one, two, three, four, five, six electrons to be like argon. And if it gains six electrons, it'd be a lot of electrons to gain. So rather than that, it's going to lose one, two electrons to be like neon. It's easier to lose two electrons than it is to gain six. So it's going to lose one, one, two be like neon. So if it loses two electrons, that means it's going to have a positive two charge because it lost two negative charges. It's got more positive charge than negative from the protons. Okay, look at something like aluminum. A lot of people get stuck here. They think, oh, aluminum's only got to lose one to be like neon, but you got to go through these other elements here, right? So aluminum's going to lose one, two, three electrons to be like neon. So aluminum's going to have a positive three charge. So is anything else in this group? Okay. Phosphorus, you're going to gain three, one, two, three, to be like argon. That's easier to gain three than lose one, two, three, four, five, to be like neon. These here in the fourth group, they can gain one, two, three, four, or lose one, two, three, four electrons. So these don't form ions because it's e it doesn't matter which way they go. It's, it's uh, same number to go that way or that way. So these don't form ions in group four. Okay. These elements over here, the halogens, they're going to gain one electron to be like the noble gases. So they're all going to have a negative one charge because they gained one electron. Right? These noble gases don't form ions because they've got a full valence shell, so they don't need to. All right? um, that's where we'll leave that one. So I uh, hope you come back to watch some more videos and learn some more chemistry. See ya.